Hey guys, I wanted to make a real quick video of all the free books that we have been given here lately. I have a bunch of uh, family and friends who have cleared their bookshelves and let us go through and decide what we'd want to keep, uh, what I could use for um, our unit studies on different things or just uh, our bookshelf readers for their reading calendars and things that I will re uh, use as readers that I will read to the class aloud uh, of books I want to cover. Um, I'll start with these. Everything was absolutely free, so I'm so excited about that. Um, these are the Left Behind series. I don't know how many of you have ever read the Left Behind series. These are the, the kid version. I didn't even know there was a kid version until here recently, but um, I have read some of the adult um, Left Behind series, uh, their version. And then I have seen, obviously, the movies. Um, but these are the kid versions I have here that was given to me one two three five and six so I'm missing four and they haven't come out with seven or eight yet but we will be waiting for them to come out with those and by the time we get to two four um, I'll have that purchased as well so those were free and they're in perfect condition so um, we'll be doing those um, let's go over here I have a Thanksgiving book. I like to thoroughly go through um, different holidays and why we celebrate them um, or the history behind a holiday and Thanksgiving and Christmas are always so much fun. Uh, July 4th is obviously very fun for me being a lover of history uh, but that's in the summer so we kind of just roughly go through that but these are in the, right in the middle of the school year. A lot of school curriculums um, incorporate those kind of holidays especially a Becca. So this is a fun book to read for the kids. Very beautiful illustrations, as you can see. And we'll be reading through this one of the days that we talk about Thanksgiving. Um, I have some readers here. Most of you probably have seen these books. Just easy readers for the kids and fun readers. Uh, stuff I can do for story time with the younger ones. And then some books I have just to sit on the shelf for their reading calendars. I have a shelf for each of the kids because obviously their ages and their reading levels are different. And so they can uh, put stickers or mark off their reading calendars and receive their reward or whatever. It has to be on their level. So this is stage one. So this would be uh, for my seven-year-old um, to put on his shelf. Uh, very good books here, very good quality, good pictures, fun reads, um, animals in winter. Also, you know, teaching them about stuff while they're reading it. Uh, my five senses and what's alive so they're learning while they're reading and earning their rewards my daughter wanted me to make sure I showed this they all love the peanuts so they love to read all the books and do Snoopy videos and stuff like that so this is for their reading calendars and this is Dick and Jane most of you probably have Dick and Jane books on your shelves uh, for the early readers um, this is my only book of Dick and Jane that I own. My mother has all the other ones, so we just tend to borrow hers. This is a Treasure of Virtues book. This is kind of your moral stories. Um, I'll show you a little bit here. The Little Red Hen, uh, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Um, you got The Ugly Duckling, and Fisherman and His Wife. Um, the Little Dutch Boy, The Tortoise and the Hare. So these are all your moral stories, uh, cute pictures, and these little bitty short stories. Definitely going to be reading that during story time. I love this book and the fact that it was free is even better for me. It is 100 Bible stories, 100 Bible songs. Um, it does, if you buy it new, or I'm sure you could get it on Amazon, um, it will come with a disc and it will have all the songs and stuff on it so you can sing those or play them for your kids. I do not have the disc um, that was given to me with this book, but I'm sure if you looked for this book, you could find that if you wanted it. And for most of these books, obviously since I was given them for free, I'll try to see if I can't find links to uh, the cheapest purchase of them in case you're interested in um, adding some of them to your library or into your unit study or whatever, um, that way, I can help you out there and you can find these books for yourself. But this is just a hundred Bible stories and you got the Ten Commandments, uh, Ruth, 
Hannah's Prayer, David Fights Goliath, Job, Daniel in the Lion's Den. Um, just awesome short, short stories from the Bible. Um, beautiful little kid illustrations. So I was excited to get that one. Let's see here. I'll just do these real quick. Um, these two are Magic Treehouse books. I'm sure you guys have these on your shelf. Um, these are the only two I have right now, but I actually have a book shipment coming um, in, I would say, probably this coming week, and I will do a video of um, several of the Magic Treehouse books. This is number nine, Dolphins at Daybreak, and this is number 11, Lions at Lunchtime. These are written by Mary Pope Osborne, and um, these are great, and they are different levels, and they have... Um, sets that are more history based and um, teach you different um, information of different whatever the book is whether it's the Titanic or the Revolution or Civil War um, but they're fun fun reads for the kids and that's something they can use to do for their reading calendars um, or their or the reports to, um, when we receive the history ones um, these are just different I can read books. Some of these were books that I had when I was a kid and my mother gave them to me that she has had saved all, up all this time. Like I can remember reading that. So um, she went ahead and gave this to me so we can put on the shelf for my little ones. Another reader, sorry. And then we'll go into these history books real quick. Well, before I go into those, we'll get these out of the way real quick. Just different readers that we've added into our library for their, for their story time and their reading calendars. Um, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Then you have Biscuit Finds a Friend, Aesop Fables. So I will probably take the time out to use these um, for their um, story time. And then these are Halloween books. My boys love Halloween books. Uh, boys will be boys. They love uh, goblins and ghouls, and they love to have those, what they call their scary books. So these are um, some history books. Um, I have actually several Benjamin Franklin books that I've gotten here lately, and we will be doing a unit study on him this year, so I'll throw in some of these, like this book, for instance. Very just short read, fun for the kids, and we can get get through it in one one sitting. So we'll use that. This is Abraham Lincoln. A um, bunch of information about him and including information about the Civil War. It's not fully illustrated like but on every page as you can see there's several pages there that didn't have a picture but um, something I could just sit and read the kids when we're doing um, unit studies on Civil War or Abraham Lincoln. Uh, this is about Washington DC. We have a couple books about Washington, D.C., and if you've seen my other videos, you know that we go to D.C. quite a bit. Um, so it tells about the different things in D.C. and around D.C. Uh, Mount Vernon, I think, is in here somewhere, and we've been there before. But um, we will be going through this book just for fun. And this is the Washington, a George Washington book, just given to me about him for the kids, a cute little cartoon illustrations. And then this is Abraham Lincoln. This is just a short little read about him, another book for him. A George Washington book, very big, bright pictures, just short read about George Washington. Um, our very first president, another Halloween book that was supposed to be in those. I got these for pre-K. These were given to me. They've never been touched. And I was excited to get these because they're brand new and I can use these for my four-year-old. He will be starting uh, pre-K this year. We kind of touched bases with him a little bit last year on a little bit, but this year he'll be full-fledged into pre-K. So I'm excited about that for him to be able to um, do this with us. And just very simple P is for pig, and then uh, circle the objects that begin with P. And little fun activities, that one's the letter ones, and this is the numbers, educational workbook, pre-K, and it goes through the numbers, and you count and color the umbrellas. 
very cute. Goes all the way up to just 19. Maybe it goes to 20. Yep, to 20. And then it has different activities back here. And these are some bigger illustrated history books that was given to me, and they're in perfect condition. So I was excited to get these. This one is Washington, uh, when Washington crossed the Delaware. And as you can see, it is in perfect condition. And the pictures are wonderful. I loved this book. So it takes you through all the um, history of how he crossed the Delaware and what all that means. And I will enjoy using this. We will definitely be using this this year in, with our history units. <clears throat> and this is just a fun book for the kids. This is Mer America the Beautiful. It's the song, but it puts pictures to each, um, each little verse. And um, as for instance, for the Purple Mountain's Majesty above the Fruited Plain, and then it shows the picture. So. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Puts a picture with it. Um, different pictures with different little parts of the song. Very fun to put pictures in with the song to kind of put things in, into perspective. So very fun for the little ones. Uh, we will actually be doing a unit study on the Statue of Liberty this year. And when I go through their history books, I know they're different ages, but I will usually pick out certain things to add to uh, whatever part that they are at, um, going through in their history, just to broaden it a little bit and add more to it. Um, not everything do I do that to, but for the most part, we do it on almost everything that they, they study. And this is um, a beautifully illustrated book on the Statue of Liberty, the history behind it, where it came from, how it got here. Let me show you a few pictures here. And it is just wonderful. I love, love this book. So we will definitely be reading this when we get to our Statue of Liberty studies. The kids will the kids will enjoy this. So that is a book for that, perfect condition. And this is another Benjamin Franklin book. It is the Almanac being a true account, or yeah, being a true account of the good gentleman's life. Never heard of this book, so I went ahead and kind of did a little bit of research and read the, the um, reviews on the back. And it is just stocked full of different letters and different information about Benjamin Franklin and really getting to know him and um, his boyhood and different people in his life and just tons of information about him. And we do a lot of um, unit studies on different congressmen, presidents, just different um, people in our history. And uh, so this will be good to go through when we do a study for Benjamin Franklin. And that is all of the, we got more books <laughs> for free, but that's all that I wanted to incorporate into our um, video today. I will ha be having more videos coming up of the books I told you about that I still have coming in the mail. So stay tuned. Thanks.